Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are looking at subtraction and addition and how you can basically write subtraction as addition. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Let's get into it. We're going to talk about number lines real briefly and then we're going to basically spend most of our time today converting from subtraction expressions into addition expressions. This is subtraction, 20 minus 35. This is what it would look like on a number line. You start at 20 and you move 35 to the left to get your final answer of negative 15. This is exactly the same as 20 plus negative 35, where you would start at 20, add on negative 35, and end up at negative 15. It's exactly the same thing. And that's the point of everything that we're going to be doing today. Let's Let's just look at it as a rule. Subtracting is like adding the opposite of a number. So I could say 13 minus 4, or I could say 13 plus negative 4. It means the same thing. On a number line, we saw that it was the same. As a rule, we see that it's the same. Here's another example. 22 minus negative 5 is the same as adding the opposite. So it would be 22 plus the opposite of negative 5, which is positive 5. So we've seen this before, but we've never officially called it a rule. This is one of those things that it's helpful to know, and sometimes it's helpful, and sometimes it's basically makes the question more complicated and you don't need to know it. But knowing that it's there can help you simplify math a little bit. Let's work at it. We're going to practice for a little bit till we're comfortable with it, and then we'll talk about when it is helpful and when it's not. Let's do this. 27 minus 14. This is a case where writing it out as 27 plus negative 14 may be not so helpful, doesn't really simplify things for us, but it they are equivalent expressions, so we, we want to be able to know that we can do that. Here we have one, negative 36 minus 9. We could rewrite that as negative 36 plus negative 9. So again, we're adding the opposite of the number instead of subtracting. 17 minus 2 would be written out as, or minus negative 2 would be 17 plus 2. Obviously simplifies it when we do that. Um, and those are basically the situations. We'll, we'll work with those a little bit as we continue to practice. Now we're going to actually do the opposite of what we just did, where we are going to take a subtraction expression and write it as an addition expression. So if we see something like this, oh sorry, we're going to see an addition and write it as subtraction. If we see something like this, negative 3 plus negative 4, we could rewrite that as negative 3 minus 4. Again, knowing these rules just helps us to simplify expressions. If we had 62 plus negative 3, we could simplify that to being just 62 minus 3. 97 plus 3, we could rewrite this as 97 minus negative 3 if we really wanted to make our lives more complicated. I don't recommend doing it, but they are equivalent expressions. Let's basically categorize some of these now. So if I have a subtraction expression like this, 45 minus 75, and I switch it to 45 plus negative 75, that can be helpful sometimes. I'm going to put that into a sometimes category because depending on the numbers, it may make sense to do that. In this situation, negative 21 minus 9, writing it as negative 21 plus negative 9, to me, I actually like it this way better. So I'm going to categorize this as helpful. In this expression, 1 minus negative 1, and we rewrite it as 1 plus 1, I'm going to say that's helpful again. That to me is the most common, always change it type of expression. We also have this one here where we change it from negative 2 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 2 minus 1. That one, I'm going to say you would rarely find it more helpful to write it out the second way. It, 
Yeah, just probably not. I would just add those two negatives, boom. A negative plus a negative, just add them together. I find that a lot more helpful. Then we've got this one, where we have 73 plus negative 4, and we change it to 73 minus 4. To me, this looks helpful, right? That one is simplifying my life, and I like to simplify. Here's the final one where we have 55 plus 3 can be rewritten as 55 minus negative 3. That one, I would say, not helpful at all. Just not a situation that you would ever, ever really do. It's, it's just a thing that you can do because we can play around with math terms, but it's not actually helpful. All right. Given all of that, I would say probably these top three are more helpful than the bottom three. And that middle one that says helpful is helpful some of the time as well. So I would maybe re redraw my gray boxes. Okay, let's do a final practice where we're going to write some expressions as addition. I'll begin with it as subtraction and then I want you to rewrite it as addition. This is practicing this skill, just whether it's useful or not, just practicing it makes it so that when the time comes, you do know how to do it. 5 minus 25, rewritten, 5 plus negative 25. How about 78 minus 13? That would be negative 78 plus negative 13. For me, again, that's a helpful one. I like that. Uh, 247 minus negative 189, that one we rewrite as adding. 247 plus 189, definitely a useful expression change. So a couple things to keep in mind. Subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. You can change any subtraction expression into being an addition expression by just adding the opposite. Knowing it forwards and backwards can actually help you when you're trying to simplify expressions. When we get into variables and other things, you will start to see, oh, I can change this and make it easier if I know these rules. So the rules themselves may seem abstract right now, but if you practice them and learn them, you can definitely simplify things moving forward. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.